Hello everybody, I'm going to show you how to install Home Assistant on your Windows computer. Now what I have in front of me is a fresh copy of Windows, it's Windows 10. Um, and yeah, let's get started. Now to give you a quick understanding of what is Home uh, Assistant, Home Assistant is basically a home automation server. Um, and it runs everywhere, it runs on your tablets, it runs on your desktops, it runs uh, on your phones, but the server runs on a dedicated uh, piece of hardware. It could be on your virtual system, like I have it running in mine, or it could be on a uh, Raspberry Pi, or anything similar to a Raspberry Pi, uh, or it can run on your, your desktop computers. Uh, in this case, we're going to be running it on our desktop computers. So let's go to homeassistant.com. I'm going to go to Google, because my keyboard's acting funny, and I'm pretty sure things are not going to be spelled the way they are. Ah, it's proven wrong. So, let's get started. So here's Home Assistant's website if it, you need it uh, for whatever reason. And I'm going to go over here. The first thing what we need for Home Assistant is Python. So let's go to pypython.org. On python.org, we're going to download a copy of Python. So I'm going to go to Windows. I'm going to click here. I know it says, you know, on the side, but I'm going to click on the latest, Python 5.1.8. That's latest for me. If you have a later edition or the newest edition, go ahead and grab that instead. I'm going to grab the 64-bit edition executable installer file because I have a 64-bit uh, processor. Alrighty, download complete. Fantastic. Yeah, that's a lie. Ah, there it goes. Alrighty. Let me close that. Close the access installers open. Yes. Perfect. I doubt they'll cause any problems, but I just don't like multiple things open. There we are. Perfect. Let me check this off over here. It says add Python 3.5 to path, and I'm going to hit install. Now you can go to customize, customization, and it makes no difference. You could do it either or, it's up to you. I'm going to hit yes on this, and we're going to let the installation begin. Now at this point I'm going to fast forward it because it does take a little bit of time, so yeah, just watch the speed of the process. Okay, now that it's done, let's hit close. Let's go to start, and let's type in CMD. There it is. This command prompt. Let's launch it, and here we go. Now we're going to install Home Assistant directly onto your desktop computer. So type in pym pip install home assistant. Alrighty. Now I'm going to fast forward here again. Okay, now that the Home Assistant server is installed, now let's run Home Assistant. Now, this last piece of command is to open Home Assistant uh, once the server is running. So, uh, that's why it says Open UI. And there it is. We're going to allow the access. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. I don't know. Uh, I'm running uh, the server in a virtual system, so I could expect these things. Now, there we go. We have Home Assistant installed. Um, there's a welcome card. Now, if you're wondering what components are available uh, for Home Assistant, such as can you run your, your Hue Bridge off of here? Can you run uh, your Amazon Echo? Uh, they're all here. You just got to click on this, available 
uh, components and look over here I usually go to all and I look through everything there's a bunch of uh, things that are pretty popular here a lot of you guys are uh, into the Belkin solution some of you may have Amazon Echo um, and I bet a lot of you guys have iPhones, so you can go over here, you can select uh, iCloud, and you can see where everyone in your iCloud uh, Find Your Phone uh, uh, devices are on a map. Um, and yeah, it's, it's totally worth it. Now, if you run into any issues, um, if you run into issues such as uh, it didn't run uh, the same way, or if you ran into some sort of errors, uh, come to homeassistant.io's website, need help, go to that icon over there. Either go to the forms or go to the chat room. Um, there's a lot of people in the chat room that are willing to help. It might take a little bit of time, but most people reply and they give you uh, how to fix the issue, a solution. And forms, if you can't stick around in the chat room, just put it in the form and just wait until you get some sort of answer. Uh, if you found an issue, if you found some sort of problem or an error that um, you like uh, it to be looked at, uh, come over here, come to this. Uh, this is going to take you to GitHub, and this is where any type of advanced issues that you've spotted, errors or bugs, you can put it over here and uh, get it to be checked out. All right, guys, that's Home Assistant. I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, post it down below. If you have any requests, post it down below, and I'll try to help. Thanks so much. Have a good one. Bye-bye.